And what's our Samuel. Samuel. Samuel and Isaac. When we were worshiping, I, I had forgotten Samuel's name. Forgive me. But that was okay because what God was speaking to me makes a lot of sense. Because he was saying he's a prophet, he's a seer. And that was a word that God gave me. And I was thinking about, well, what's his name again, you know? And I, I hope his name means something like that, you know? Well, it sure does. It sure does. And it says about Samuel that he had favor with God and favor with man. But not only that, it says that he would, God was raising up a faithful priest who would do according to what was on his mind and on his heart. And it says later that he never let any of Samuel's words fall to the ground. None of his words. So when he spoke in the name of Jesus, so I mean he didn't use the name Jesus, but he used words from above and he spoke them, and God honored every word. He never let one word fall to the ground. And I just believe that this young man, there's a calling on his life. He's a prophet. He's a seer. And I just, just, I just feel word to, to just re pray. And I, I just probably spoken over him earlier, but before. But I just felt that came up, and I just want to affirm that. And so I thank you, God, for this young man, Amen. for Samuel. Thank you, God. He wasn't given that name just because it's a nice name. It is. But he has that name because of the calling that's on his life. Yes, yes Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And devil, you tried to take this young one's life. You tried to take his life. But you did not succeed. Because God had a calling on his life. And we just pray blessings over, over young Samuel. We pray blessings. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Bless him abundantly. And Lord, I pray that none of his words would fall to the ground. Yes, Lord. Maybe for those who aren't aware, maybe you could just share a little bit about there and about... Uh, what happened to him yet? Yeah. Well, he was born March 18th, and two weeks later, he, the, the flu or the cold, I guess it was flu, was going through the house, and uh, he contracted what was called an RSV virus, or that it is virus, and uh, it comes with a common cold, but most people don't get affected by it, except for the really old, elderly, and sick, or a newborn. And his tubes, breathing tubes, filled up with mucus so that he couldn't breathe on his own and actually stopped breathing in his mom's arms around 9.30 on a Sunday night. And I was away at the time in doing ministry down in the States. And uh, so he stopped breathing once and then she took him to the Iron Prior Hospital. She was staying at her mom's house. And then she, he stopped breathing again in the hospital. And then for the next eight days was on, uh, he was in an intensive care unit in, at Chio. They actually flew a team from Chio out to Arm Prior to, to work on him. And uh, for three hours, it, they didn't know if he was going to make it. And then actually the next day we heard from somebody at that hospital that they didn't think he was going to make it. That actual hospital wasn't sure if he was going to make it. So he made it and we had... Literally thousands of people praying for him. It was uh, the word that he just spoke was spoken over him about 10 times during that time. So it's just confirmation to us. Actually, I was driving, I, I go to the States a lot now, and down in the States twice in the last month, there's a company down in New Jersey called Samuel. And the logo for Samuel is Samuel with a giant fire coming out of it so I saw that twice 
I knew the Lord was saying that there's a fire inside of him. Hallelujah. I want you to stay, Darren. Because another word that the Lord gave me was about fathers. And uh, our brother here saying about, you're my father. You're my father. He's my father. And you know, many of us men, or many of us, haven't been fathered the best. And it's, and because we haven't been fathered well, we haven't really truly become sons and daughters in the manner in which God would have us. And then we grow up, and we're to be fathers. And so what I felt the Lord saying is that He wants to father us. He wants to father, and He wants to father you in a way that your, your earthly father could not father you. So I just felt that all fathers, uh, to, to stand up here, all fathers in the house. Come at the front here. Yeah, would you come, to come? I just feel you're to come up forward. Thank you. Uh, no, I want you to face the forward here. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. What I felt the Lord saying, he wants to father us, and he wants to say for you men that you never stop being a father. You don't stop being a father, even when your children grow up. You don't stop being a father. And I feel that there's some here tonight who felt they had failed as a father. And I felt the Lord saying he wants to lift that off. Because God is saying, I'm going to father you, plus I am going to father your children. I am going to father your children. And the Lord wants you to take a hold of that and claim that. But, he, but as long as you live in the shame of what you felt you failed, you're not allowing God to do what he wants to do. So he wants to lift all shame off. We sang about that too. No shame. He wants, he wants to rid of us, rid of the shame. And God wants to restore. He wants to give us what we didn't have or what we couldn't give. So, um, so I'm just going to just release a prayer. And I'm including this for me. Because I know I didn't measure up in the manner I wanted to measure up. And I failed many times. But I, I, but I always kept praying, God, you can do what I couldn't do. Where I failed, you, you do not fail. And I, I took a hold of that. And God is still doing a work. So, Father, I thank you, God, for these men. I thank you for these, these fathers. Lord, any shame that they may be still carrying in any regard, I lift them off. I lift it off of them. I lift it off in Jesus' name. Because God does not want you to live under that. And I take you out from under that. And I, and I speak into you that you are a father. That you are a father. And you have a father's heart. Because God is giving you a father's heart. Yes, yes, yes. And I speak into you, don't stop fathering. There are those who need to be fathered. You know, the Bible says there are many, many counselors, but few fathers. And so I did declare over you that you are a father. Amen. And that you can father well. 
because the Holy, because God the Father is fathering you. And because you are fathered, you can father. And I speak this over each of you ladies out there. And each one, that you will be fathered. And where you were not fathered, I speak into you that you will be fathered by Father God. Because he does not fail in any regard. And I just call it into your life. I call it in, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.